Hello and welcome to the tavern. My name's Jade. Uh, I, I had a brain fart. Um, we're gonna go through uh, this alternate scenario. I'm guessing. I don't know if there's like a a good end, bad end kind of deal. But I'm guessing this is the good end, considering um, we were given sort of a choice. It was in a fist fight, but uh, a choice. Yeah, like right, right here we were given like a, like you lose the fight, you do something else, you win the fight, you come here. Loud in my ears. So we're just gonna go straight into it. There is no preamble. There is no nothing else. Straight into it. Oh, I gotta go over here because I gotta run away from the agent. Whoa! Oh, there are just too many agents. I mean, I guess I can fight them. But I don't see, like, the purpose. Do I fight them? Do they die? That'll be the question. Is this gonna work? All right, not gonna work. Wait, what? Oh, okay, cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I can just kind of like run it. Um, where am I going? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Ah, fuck. Okay, don't know where I'm going, but uh, do I even have focus? Yeah, it's legit. Just run. That is also stupid. I, I'm punching him in the face, but he can, he's still shooting as I'm punching. Oh yeah, okay. This is where I can catch my breath a little bit. Before I have to do anything else.
What? I'm dead. Um... Do you now understand what I'm... I, I don't know if that's part of, like, the game being broken, where that collision... <laughs> Okay, so like the start of every level, I have no focus. Is that normal? Okay, again, pathing, right? Tell me a direction I'm supposed to go in. Cause like, cause there, so there's, there's an arrow telling me where to go. I can see that. And, th but this is what I mean, right? Like I have an arrow telling me where I should go, but no clear indication. Like I don't have the focus. You cannot tell me anything about this part. I don't want to hear that I'm like later throughout the level. You can tell me like, yeah, I messed up and I've, I know I did, but like this part here, I don't know exactly where to go or what to do because I'm not given the, uh, the amount of focus necessary to get through this part. <sighs> this is what's stupid about this. I don't have anything. I can't fight the guy. Or I can. It's just not going to be worth my time. Is there anything over here? No. I'm dead. Like. <clears throat> this is why the, the, I say the mechanics of the game fail. One. It points me into a direction. Two. I can't exactly fight the agents. Not, not in the way I want to. I don't have guns. I, I could only fight them. And I don't know if fighting them is worth it. I don't know if there's anything within the area that allows me to effectively fight them. And the direction they pointed me at is the direction of the elevator while it's telling me to just kind of run away. And he immediately comes in. Is he really just stuck?
What? Again. <sighs> like, do you see that? Th there was no frame in which he could have, like... Like, again, immersion just kind of broke right there. Are you kidding me, dog? I have to take time to go up each and every step? Like, the, the way I'm positioned, this is what it is. The way I'm positioned, I have to take my time to move. One, two, I don't have the focus to be doing anything. Like, I get it that I gotta like, just, Run. All I need right there. Okay, where am I going? Where am I going? This is, okay, so like I'm supposed to be going over here somewhere, but I can't break that Yeah, this is why the mechanics of the games don't work. You throw an, an unbeatable enemy, but you don't give like, hey, you can go here, 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 and here. Now I'm gonna take a lot of damage. Like I'm, I literally just like, I just have to go for it. Like, I'm given no clear direction. Like, this arrow is telling me I have to go over there. Is this the roundabout way of doing that? Go away. not in there this, this is gonna be Dalton that
Thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you really above me? Are you telling me they can shoot through floors? And this is what I mean by bullshit. Okay, so I can go down. <sighs> so, are you going to tell me... Okay, are they also easier on normal mode? Because if they're not easier on normal mode, and it's only because, oh, I can take more shots, then I'm sorry, but, like, this part here, this is just stupid. I have to, like, intuit where to go based on everything, and I gotta force my way through all of this. Like, if I gotta force my way through all of this... Oh, I can't wait to see the speedrun of how broken this game actually is. Basically, it's this. I just gotta keep running. this shit you really think this is a good game after shit like that he's countering me as i'm already oh my god like i stop on a dime for every stupid thing Every stupid little thing. I'm gonna go in here and catch my breath a little bit. Actually, no, because he can just come in here. I'll be out here. Where at least I can kick his ass. All right. Um, aside from that part, um, do you really expect me to think just just because hard mode? Like, let's, let's get the thought process of, of, of hard mode out of the way. Do you really think that part is, like, virtually easy? Because, so here's the thing, right? I'm given no gun. They immediately shoot in as, as I come in. I'm immediately taking damage. I have no focus the start of the level. And I have to just keep running. And their accuracy is like pinpoint. Aside from the numbers changing, does anything else change 
between hard and normal mode. Like anything else. Do they have reduced accuracy? Do they fire less frequently? Do they still do things less often? If none of that changes, and the only thing that's different between normal and hard is the numbers being beans higher, then not a good game. Because usually the difference between normal and hard should also be like AI interaction. How smart is the AI? Maybe I should have done the other route after all. I'm also on like half health. Something I'm also noticing. I'm, I'm at half, half health. All right, I'm gonna chill out here. Chill out here. Chill right here. All right, cool. I can run now. Um... Um, oh. I'm going to do something for my own testing purposes. Bear with me. Oh, they just have a, a shit ton of health. Okay, cool. So my punches do nothing. They just have a lot of health. And my only way of killing them is to knock them off the building. Which means get outside as quickly as possible. Yeah, I'm sorry that if I stop on a fucking dime, like my movements have been sluggish the entire game. That helps. Just that prospect of lo alone helps so much.
Nope, stop attacking. Okay. Oh, let's get, grab some focus because I'm gonna need it for like a couple of parts. This is gonna be a long one, okay. understand like do I not attack them when they're fixing up their tie come on fucking dumbass This is going to be a long, long fucking time. Okay. I, I, so at one point, I'm going to... Through the middle of, the, of this vi uh, recording here, I'm going to tell you why a game like this is bad. Okay? At some point, whenever I catch a break... Like, whenever I catch any type of break... bit of a break okay so movement i don't mind the the movement of the game but everything about the game feels clunky it wants to be like a movement shooter type of game it really does it wants to be like a cover shooter but it's no call of duty it doesn't use the cover mechanics well Whenever you have to climb up something, your movement is kind of halted. For being a game, for being a game based on the Matrix where their movement is fluid, they run up the walls, they run side to side. They do a lot of these things and it feels great to watch. But in this game, the running up the walls feels sluggish. You have to use the focus to do that. You have to use focus to do a lot of things. But the movement itself, climbing up, takes time. You are vulnerable in that position. Falling off, you are halted. You have no momentum. You carry nothing with you. Turning, it could be... The turn, it could be a problem with how my uh, emulator here is working. That could be like a problem with how my emulation is working. Maybe it feels better so on and so forth, doing other things. But like, I have to like, kind of lightly tap it.
And it's like fighting. The, this is the same enemy as far as I'm concerned, as far as the game is concerned. This is the same enemy. Why does he have a different AI than the other enemy? And the other, uh, there is no variant that I'm seeing. Oh my god. Like, this is where I'm kind of like min maxing all my movement options right now. Like, everything I'm learning about the game up until this point, I'm learning. Come on. Don't be a bitch. Maybe it should have been something like that, right? So like, where, again, where do I go here? Like, where, how, why is it that I could run and they hit me dead on each and every fucking time? You can't tell me that's a hard mode thing. You really just can't, you can't tell me that's hard mode. Like the moment I start, I have to run and I'm giving, I have to like run this like slow path. Like for me to keep most of my HP, for me to not use up anything. Fine by me, I'll, I'll take it. Maybe that is a different model than the ones I've been fighting so far. He has clear line inside of me too.
gonna tell me like <sighs> Okay. Once I get to that part, I'm looking up where to go. Because this is this is the most frustrating thing about the game. Nothing works as intended. Nothing works as intended in this game. Like, I'm sorry, you said the controls are good? No, no, no. Controls and everything in this game is bad. Come on, I'm right here. What sort of beating can you take? Whatever. Okay. I'm at a good enough point. What was this called? A uh, skyscraper. Vertigo? Okay, so oh, we'll see what happens. So he's there. Was I right to go come here? Yes. After you left the oracles, you dropped off my skull. Get me out of here, Sparks, wherever I am. I got agents right behind me. I know. You better run. Get to the street and I can take you from there. Do I not go straight? Whoa, 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 whoa.
Where do I go? Where the fuck do I go? Oh my fucking god. You give me no fucking direction. I gotta go through that whole entire shit again. Fuck me. Go in. Cool, you can get stuck there. Yeah, get to the streets below. How the fuck do I do that from that point? Don't climb up, you dumb idiot. Like, if you don't understand what I mean by bad controls or bad anything, then... This should exemplify everything. This one part that's taking me longer than it needs to be. This is what I mean by bad controls, where, where it feels clunky. Climbing up feels slow and sluggish. It doesn't feel as responsive. I, I can take a lot of damage doing just that, which means you never want to climb up anything. Running up the walls when you don't want to, that's clunky controls. Doing unintended things other than what you want to do is bad controls, bad movement. That's what makes a game bad. If I can't control the character well enough, and I'm struggling to control the character, then chances are the game is bad. And at this point, you're kind of just like, oh, I'm good with the controls because maybe you played the game longer than me. But it should never be the case of like, I, because I can do it, you can too. Chill here, regain health. Okay. So, where am I going? Like, this is the question, right? Where am I going? Let's go through this again. So you t you're trying to tell me, okay.
Sorry about all that. This is this is one of those situations where maybe against the smaller enemies you don't realize how bad the controls are. But when you come to a situation like that, you can't tell me that the controls are anything but good or any, anything but bad. You can't tell me things don't work the way that the, you can't tell me things work the way they should when if I'm moving forward and mind you this this if if I had analog controls and not tank controls this would be a much better experience now here's another thing okay this is what make what would make that section better if my camera was controlled by the C sticks and I can move the camera and that can dictate where I actually look. If my C sticks dictate my left and right movements, that will be much better to then play that section, to play this entire game. The uh, analog stick, it should only be used for like forward, backwards, but not left and right. Not in the same sense. If you're using the directional pad, okay, go for it. Because you can at least hold both buttons and there's on, there is no diagonal. There is only up, down, left, right. When you use a control stick, you have to make sure. And again, I'm using emulation, so it could be very different. But when, the, when I say the controls are bad, it's because moving the character feels terrible it feels it doesn't feel like i'm playing a person it doesn't feel like i'm even playing a tank it feels like i am playing someone who is dying like they're dying they're in pain they're in agony the moment you move left their bones crunch that's what it feels like That's the entire control scheme. All you need to do is map the buttons differently. That is it. And I, I shouldn't map the buttons. I shouldn't have to map the buttons with the C stick. Like I shouldn't have to use emulation to map out the buttons. I really shouldn't. And maybe for for uh, I, I I will save a different configuration to use to showcase this in maybe another video. But left and right shouldn't be on the same stick as forward and backwards if it's going to result in like opposing forces. Like, big, big, biggest example, right? If I'm holding forward and I want to move left, I have to hit, essentially, I have to hit, like, again, forward. But then I have to, like, turn it slightly. Hold up. We'll do it like this. Turn it slightly for diagonal movement. And then we have left and right. So it should be forward. Diagonal, I keep my speed, I don't lose it, but it shouldn't be boom, and then I have to slightly move me to keep my speed at a slower turn speed. So it'll be movement, camera, movement, camera. That's how it should be. And that way, the C stick, instead of being like, I go into first person view or third person view, it becomes, it controls the camera and you dedicate a different button for first and third person. That entire thing just got me frustrated, like really frustrated. So I'm going to leave that there. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. <laughs> And I hope this, this this shows you what I mean by controls, 
how bad it is, how bad it feels to move the character when you interact with the terrain. Because that's another factor, interacting with the terrain. You either move slow or you move fast, but the moment you hit terrain, you have to take your time to climb up the terrain. Meanwhile, in cutscenes, they can grab the rail and just kind of like lunge themselves off. They can fly through the air. They can do all this other stuff that you cannot do within the game. So, th th there's all of that. Again, this is why... This is why to me the game is bad because nothing feels responsive enough for me to have full control of the entire situation. And then on top of that, again, I don't know how it is on normal mode if the enemy's AI is uh, pinpoint accurate or if their accuracy is really shit. But if you're in a running segment and you are far enough away their accuracy shouldn't be pinpoint and they also shouldn't be shooting you while you punch them in the face they shouldn't be shooting you while they are falling the fact that all of that happens kind of bullshit to me and the fact that they don't really tell you in in the tips anything about the agents And then most fires are, are completely ineffective against agents. You can fire stone bullets at an agent and they'll dodge every bullet. Pistols are useless from long range and firing an automatic weapon will likely do nothing. Then slow an agent down while he dodges your shots. High explosives have proven, again, proven effective against agents in certain situations. This doesn't tell me how to do anything. Silent takedowns, fighting multiple enemies, disarming opponents, throw action. Like, like, this tells me nothing. Get more accuracy. Okay. Earning more focus by fighting. Okay, cartwheel. By holding the gun, hold on focus, I okay, any character will... Okay. Diving into a fight. Wall running. <coughs> Sorry about that. Hold on, focus, and run towards the wall at an angle. You'll bend the rules of gravity and sprint along the wall. Time it right, and you can even turn corners while wall running. Run, du running bullet dodge. Run focus, time press, and hold action while, and you have to perform bullet avoidance maneuvers as they as they. So you're telling me I, I could have done this in, this entire time? This is whatever at this point. It's whatever. You gave me this tip a while ago. This is exactly what I mean by unintuitive gameplay, unintuitive anything. It doesn't, 
if it doesn't require you to do this, it really shouldn't. But here's the thing, right? L let me see. For, for that one tip, when in focus, when in focus time, press and hold action while running. So what is action? My Z. Okay, that does nothing because it doesn't halt anything. I, ha I still have to run in a direction because it's not really avoiding bullets. It's more like dodging. Cause wh what do they call it? Running bullet dodge. Okay, never mind. No, I need to be able to like, when I'm running, avoid bullets. So even that wouldn't help me in that situation. Anyways, I went on long enough. Sorry for all of this. And again, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's whatever at this point. So with that said, get the fuck out. The tavern is now closed. I shall see you guys later.